Shalom everyone, our spiritual uh, fitness is like everything in life, uh, depends on our training. And here we are going to learn today one of the most important uh, trainings to develop our uh, frontal lobe. Uh, this development allows us to achieve uh, much higher quality levels of well-being, spiritual consciousness, experiencing enlightenment, even prophecy, just by training daily. Uh, we start by sitting straight in a chair above the ground, our feet on the ground, and our hands on our laps open towards the heavens, as Rabbi Zakloria the Arizal is saying, like somebody who wants to receive something. Breathe deep, relax yourself, and we are going to use here the Tetragrammaton in this meditation, very powerful meditation, of drawing the spiritual light in uh, the same root of the tree of life from above to below and then back above. So continue to relax. Breathe deep. Close your eyes. And start to relax the muscles around your eyes, face, around the skull. Go back to your neck. down to your back, relax your right shoulder and the right arm, left shoulder and left arm. The rest of your back, chest, belly, and all the way down to your feet. Breathe deep, five deep breaths. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And release, two, three, four. Imagine yourself walking in a big cave, natural cave in the midst of a mountain. You can feel the gravel under your feet you can hear the noise it's making, the echo coming from the walls, water running somewhere in the back, some water dripping from the walls. You can smell the moist in the chilly air, you can feel the breeze. On your skin. You can see light at the end of the cave and you're walking towards that light. Slowly
we get closer and closer to the opening. 10 steps. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As we're coming out of the air, we're flying fast to the center of the world, the gates of heaven, to the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, to the Holy of Holies. And we're standing there, right there, the Holy of Holies, where the heaven kisses the earth, where the line of light comes down from the endless light and kisses the earth to nourish it. We send our consciousness high, high above. Our thoughts is flying the highest possible. Connecting to the endless light that surrounds everything nourish everything, created everything, sustains everything. And we imagine that we're drawing now a line of light from the uppermost endless light down to this, our physical world. And then this light expands into the Hebrew letter Yud. which corresponds to the tree of life. The thorn of the Yud is the Keter, and the letter itself, the Yud, is Chokhmah. The Yud is filled with a light, shining, vibrant light, full of energy, the energy of life. And the line of light is descending down from the Yud, and then it expands again to the letter He, Sphira Bina. Again, the hay is filled with the light, vibrant light of life. And it continues to descend as a line of light. Then it expands again to the letter Vav. Zeran Pino Tiferet. The Vav is filled with the light, shining everywhere. And again, a line of light comes down from the head vav and expands it to the letter hay. From the hay, a line of light is coming down, descending to our head. Imagine the light coming to your head, from the top of your head, and now expands into your brain, the skull, all around the head every bone, muscle, organ, every cell, every nerve, removing any pain, any darkness, any disorder. It's all full with light. Cleaning, strengthening, healing. And then this light expands from the head down to the neck, shoulders, again cleaning, shining, eliminating any pain, any darkness, any blockage. Right arm and the whole hand, right hand. Then the light shines through the left arm, left shoulder and the arm and the hand. 
cleaning, strengthening, opening all blockages, healing. Now the same, this light continues to spread, expand into our chest, all the organs. All the inner organs and down to the belly, filling it up, cleaning and straightening and healing, opening the blockages, and all the way down to our feet. And of course, cleaning out everything on the way, filling up, fulfilling. Now we are full with light, head to toe. can keep all of this light for ourselves, so we send it to our family members, friends, and in circles around all the way to the whole world. And now is the time to create a returning light, very important for our well-being. So, as a form of gratitude, we return the light back to its source. We push the light back from our feet up all the way out through our legs and to our belly up. To our chest, through the neck, up through the head, and from the head up through the line, to the hay, and then through the line to the vav, then through the line to the hay, and then through the line to the yud, and then through the line all the way back. To the endless. We are refreshed, strengthened, cleaner, more pure, more enlightened. It's very important to repeat this exercise at least once a day, and that will develop our ability to communicate to spiritual light. And give it away. Thank you so much and a lot of success.